Hi. I'm Sparky. He's Gary Wolfel of the RacingSportsZone.com. You can catch me along with Gary Ellerson, Ronnie Makloff, and Leroy Butler most days. He comes and goes when he wants. Uh, at uh, 105.7 FM The Fan or AM 1250. Check us out online at 105.7 FM The Fan.com. You Excuse can stream me. us live hi, there. Hi, hi, I'm Gary, and I work with Greg and Susan. Who? And Alan. Who? And Rob Lear. Oh, Rob, I know Rob Lee. And, and Pete Jackal. Uh, you know, yeah. I, I want to name everybody on the Journal Times Sports staff. That's good. That was a nice shout out. You know? That's good. Those are my buddies. Those are my guys. That's good. And girls. Okay. Let's talk about your other buddy, Aaron Rodgers, uh, as he has struggled most of the year, especially in the second half of the year, but has a coming out party to remind everybody who he is uh, as they take care of the Redskins and last I also week. forgot Bill May and Mike Moore. Okay. Good. <laughs> We're done. Let's That's move good. on. So, Aaron Rodgers, good game against the Skins. Yes. G- good game. It wasn't a great game. It still wasn't vintage Aaron Rodgers. No, you overthrew was, guys? You underthrew he did. guys? We, I, we have not seen the real Aaron Rodgers yet. You're not going to. What but, do you mean but, yet? What, this year or ever? Not this year. I, I, and I, you know, Gary and Leroy on the big show keep telling me that they think he's healthy. Some of the throws he makes, he has I to be healthy. I totally disagree. But, but, but to me, it's just something that ain't right. And I don't know what it is, but something doesn't appear right. Now, having said that, can you explain something to me? Sure. <laughs> if the fix to this was running hurry up and no huddle, that right. was the fix. Okay. Where was this all year? I mean, last year in training camp, that was the whole big deal. We're going right. to run up tempo all year long and press teams and, and press teams. And, and, and this they year we come out. So many plays yes, in the game. That right, was the fast break thing. offense. Yeah, yeah. Now this year we go. That was so last year. We're not going to do that again. I mean, it worked. We're not going to do that again. That was last year. We got to come up with something new this year. And it didn't work. After Jordy got hurt, it didn't work. To me, this is on the coaching staff and Rodgers, to a degree, for not bringing this out soon. I mean, I just, I, I don't get it. Because now you assume they're going to run this against Arizona, right? Yeah. They, you do they, run this against Arizona, I, I, right? I, yeah, I think there are, a lot, there are a lot more other issues involved in their slump, you know, 6-8 game slump at the end of the season. Nothing else changed, Gary. What else changed with the offense? Well, the, the, the same that, receivers that couldn't get open, I, I couldn't get off the line, same guys were getting open. I, I, you know what they did? Line, they you know what they did? I'll tell, same offense. I'll tell line. you exactly what they did. And I've been, in fact, I wrote about this in my column about two weeks ago. I've, I'm a big proponent of Mike McCarthy. I think his record speaks As for himself. Am I. I mean, he's got the second most wins in the last decade next to Belichick. Okay. I'm wondering, how many does Belichick have? Yeah. Well, that, you just know, say, but, but it's still very impressive. You know, got, yeah. he's a consistent winner. Got but I've always had an issue about his pass protection in his offense. He, he'll go with the empty backfield. Yep. Sometimes he'll have no help. one back and send the back out. And I wrote about this again two, three weeks ago, saying he's got to tweak that where he gives Rodgers added protection. Guess what he did last game? He brought in another tight end. But that's oh. only because he had to play his center, backup center, and left tackle in J.C. Treader. That, that was and part that's of Bakhtiari, there is no help. Well, all of a sudden we saw Corliss, I mean, which, who, who he didn't have available all year, also in the lineup. You also had two backs in there. And all of a sudden it's like, hey, Aaron Rodgers has another second or two to do what he wants. And well, Treader played his tail end. He off. did. He, after that first series where he gave up the right. safety, yep. he played a heck of a game. But Rodgers... I mean, Rodgers McCarthy definitely made a blocking adjustment for that game, and I thought, I thought it paid off. And I think he's going to do the same thing against the Cardinals. You put Josh Sitton in the previous week from guard to tackle. Yeah. Now, I had a problem with it as soon as I saw it. Quaker State and Lube in New Berlin, where we, do, where we do our green and gold game day watching parties. We'll be there again uh, if you want to make a drive to New Berlin. But this was amazing to me because Sitton has a bad back. Mm-hmm. He's had a bad back all year. Right. So not only are you taking a guard and telling him to go play left <coughs> tackle, you're taking a guard with a bad back and having him go play in space. So that also hampers him, right? Sure. Now, not only do you do that, how much help did they give the man? They put him out there on an island. They didn't but check. Say that, they didn't that, drink exactly. anything. And that, that, that goes back to my idea. Of so now Trevor goes out there exactly. and McCarthy goes, well, maybe we should provide some help just in case J.C. struggles. So now he provided help. It, it right. wasn't him. It was for Rodgers, too. I, I well, yeah, to protect out. Rodgers, right. but it was also to help yeah, Treader, sure, right. obviously, if he got beat. Right. And Treader played way better than I think anybody thought. Now, having said that, Bakhtiari apparently was uh, practiced a little bit mm-hmm. yesterday. Shields practiced a little bit yesterday. Still in concussion protocol, though. Mm-hmm. This was the question that got asked yesterday in the Wendy's Big Show. Who do they need more? Shields against the speedy wideouts of Arizona or Bakhtiari? Shields. Especially because they're going against Carson Palmer. 
if it would be an average quarterback. He's never won a playoff game. That's true. And he probably won't again either. Um, <laughs> but, no, in light of him, I would say Shields. They, they need to shut down Curtis Palmer. I mean, they, they have been ringing up points. I mean, yeah. like 34, 38, 40 points a game. And it's primarily because of Carson Palmer. So if they get Shields back, that helps their secondary tremendously. The Carson Palmer story is really remarkable. I mean, that man was out of football, retired. Sure. Everybody doesn't remember. He was done. And then came to play for the Raiders. And wasn't all that good there either because it's the Raiders. Nobody plays well for the Raiders. At least back then, they were the laughing stock of the league. And then gets to Arizona. And you can give all the credit you want to Carson Palmer, mm-hmm. and he deserves it. But Bruce Arians, oh, he's very right. willful. Bruce Arians is the man. And I, and today on the big show, they're going to debate Bruce Arians versus Mike McCarthy. Bruce Arians is in Indianapolis, takes over for Chuck Pagano, who gets sick, mm-hmm. and gets on a huge run and gets him in the playoffs. Absolutely. Otherwise, he wouldn't have been a head coach. Chuck probably. Pagano leaves, takes the Arizona job. And I said the wrong guy left. They couldn't get rid of Pagano. He was coming off of having right, cancer. Right. He was getting that job back. Right. But Arians is the better coach, yeah, without absolutely. question. And he's really yeah, good with you see what happened to the Colts offense since he left. Yes. They, they ended up immensely. firing the offensive coordinator who they brought in from Stanford. And now Chudzinski is there, the old Browns coordinator. The offense got better at the end of the year because of Chudzinski, and they'll be fine next yeah, year. Yeah, you know what, though? I'm talking, talking about Arians. Did you see the post-game footage of him after the Packer game a couple weeks ago? Hmm. He gets up in front of his team, and he tells them, he said, you know, let's keep this under control. Don't make any comments about the Packers because we could play them again. No bulletin board material. So he makes a comment about the Packers himself. He just rips on the Packers. And I'll tell you what, if I'm Mike McCarthy, that clip's coming out before the game. What did he say? I, I can't remember the exact words. It was on NFL Films. And I go, you got to be kidding. You're telling your players to keep it under control? And then you come back and, and make a you know a comment right. back, back. I'm telling you, if I'm McCarthy, that little clip. I don't up. think I don't think it really matters at this point. Oh, I know, I know. It's 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 a small part of what they need. What to everybody do. wants to hold on. But it's going to gonna motivate. It would motivate me if I got just. How about you're the division around the playoffs? That should be enough motivation. Absolutely, I, I totally you're agree. losing. You're done. I totally agree. Now, what everybody wants to go to is last time they played. The Cardinals got 28 points off of four turnovers by the Packers. Okay. And people say, that's how you make up the 30-point difference. Just don't turn over the ball, and you'll be in the football game. Right. Is it just that easy? No, it's not that easy, but it's, it's a big part of it. I mean, everything that could go wrong went wrong for the Packers in that game. Mm-hmm. I mean, as you well know, Rodgers was sacked eight times. I thought he was going to die in that game. You know what? I, he was getting killed. He, he was. And then even... Uh, the backup Tolzien comes in. He gets sacked one time. You know? He should have been in sooner. <laughs> you know, and then uh, Rogers fumbles the ball twice that they returned for touchdowns. Those were just absolutely not just so much sack, but the fumbles were fluke, fluke plays. And two of those and pass know, rushers that were in that game, Redding and Okafor, I think, both of those guys aren't playing this week. Both and there's two other guys that are limited that they might not play either. Their, but their defense could be in real trouble. They signed Jason Babin, who, who <laughs> hasn't played since October, yeah. I don't think, yeah, October or November. And he was with the Eagles. He's an older player, but he is right. a pass rusher. That's right. what he does. Maybe they can get one game out of him. So, you know? well, well, that's all they need. Yeah. I mean, that, that's really all they need. Well, that, so, that, that's a hope and a prayer, too. We'll, we'll see how the whole thing plays out. Who do you got? Packers. Yeah. I mean, and the reasoning is, uh, not by much. I think it's going to be a hell of a game. But Washington secondary was awful. I knew that coming in. All you had to do is look at past games. You look at Arizona's secondary, it's not very good. It's inexperienced. They lost their best defensive player, you know, a couple Tyrell years ago. Exactly. Yep. So, um, Patrick it, Peterson's pretty good, though. Oh, he's, he's very good. One of the top three, four corners in the league. But the rest of the game, he's still going to play three, four, five defensive mm-hmm. backs at times. And they don't have quality and they don't have depth. And if Rodgers is given the time, I think he's going to have a very successful day. I have no faith at all in the wide receiving core of getting open. <clears throat> None. So we'll see how that plays Andrew out. Andrew Corliss, X Factor. Telling you. I haven't thrown to him all year. So, I mean, he, has, he hasn't time, been available. Time. He just came back. He's been available for the last couple of weeks. They yeah, don't throw yeah. to him. I mean, we'll see. I'm taking the Cardinals. He's Gary Wolfel. I'm Steve Sparky Pfeiffer. We'll talk to you next time here at RacineSportsZone.com.